we will have to move on to the next presentation that features uh, formulation challenges in Tell Me Sartan, Dr. Sandeep Mitra, who is the head of medical marketing and scientific services, USV Limited in Chennai. Dr. Mitra will have 11 minutes and his timer is straight across. Dr. Mitra. Respected uh, chairpersons at, and the ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, uh, I'm extremely thankful to the organizers for giving me this opportunity to speak on this topic. Well, uh, regarding the formulation challenges of Tell Me Sartan, I would like to highlight a few things regarding to uh, the drug absorptions and the dissolutions and the pharmacokinetic profile of any drug. Now, in this regard, it is extremely important for us to understand that US FDA has clearly endorses the importance of the in vitro dissolution of the drug. In fact, whenever the drug is being given from a solid dosage form following the oral administration, the absorption depends on several factors, including the release of the drug substance from the given drug product, as well as the dissolution or solubilizations of the drug component under any physiological circumstances, as well as the last but not the least is the permeability of the drug component across the GI membrane. Now, because of the clinical nature of the first two steps, that is your absorption and the dissolution, the in vitro dissolution may be more relevant to the predictions of the in vivo performance and hence at the site of absorption in the intestine where the drug is getting absorbed, the dissolution or solubilization plays a very major role in order to produce the ultimate efficacy of the drug and so far the Tell Me Certain is concerned. It has been observed that Tell Me Certain being such an effective and uh, blood pressure lowering agent, it has always having some challenges in terms of uh, the passing the pH barrier in the aqueous solution or in the, in the intestine. Now, it has been found that Telmisartan does not dissolve between the pH range of 3.3 to 9. And unfortunately, the site of absorption in the intestine, Telmisartan uh, actually endorses where the pH is 5.5 to 6.8. Usually, so Telmisartan is uh, classified as per the BCS classification class 2 agent, which means that it is having a low solubility and high permeability, which means that under ordinary circumstances, the formulations which is doesn't have any technological excellence, Telmisartan is not completely dissolved form in the intestine where it gets absorbed and which leads to inadequate absorption and inadequate blood pressure control. Moreover, USFD has given a special considerations and the recommendation that Tell me certain should have the more than 80% dissolutions or solubility in the intestinal pH 7.5 following the 45 minutes after its oral absorption. And to take this special note, uh, the dissolution of the tell me certain at this pH 7.5 is a real challenging issue which is not achieved by the most of the ordinary tell me certain products available in the market. When we have done some kind of the assays both in the 40 milligram or the 80 milligram doses, it has been found that none of the products are actually uh, going to pass the criteria given by USP or FDA. So therefore, the journey of the Tell Me Certain following its oral administration in the gastric pH, it gets completely dissolved, but it tends to get precipitated due to the variations in the pH and the site of absorption in the intestine, which ultimately re results to poor dissolutions at the site of absorption and may fail to achieve the US FDA recommended criteria. Hence, less ionized form of the Tell Me Certain is available at the site of absorption, leading to poor blood pressure control or the efficacy. So, therefore, uh, the technological excellence while developing the formulations of the Telmisartan, the challenges was to keep the Telmisartan always in the dissolved form in the entire pH range starting from 1.5 to 7.5. At no point of time, the drug should get precipitated and it should pass the FDA criteria for the dissolution easily and assures hence the 100% blood pressure control. Now, many uh, technological uh, formulations techniques have been attempted to make the Tell Me Certain more dissolved, more uh, absorbable at the site of absorption like nanosizing technology, lattice and the solid liquid phase technology, but none of them actually could address these pH variations and to keep the Tell Me Certain at the dissolved uh, phase at the site of absorption and to improve the overall bioavailability of the product. So one of the formulations which we have developed indigenously called the optimum dissolutions and the complete absorption where primarily the Tell Me Certain granules were mixed with a unique alkalizer product and this alkalizer chemically it is named as the meglumine which is basically uh, acid based sugar and amino sugar uh, derived from the sorbitol with a PA, a PK of the 9.6. 
Usually when the, it is mixed with the alkalizer, meglumine, it creates a microenvironmental pH around the telmisartan granules. And this solution uh, with a microenvironmental pH inside with the telmisartan granules is sprayed on a inert granules. And then following the drying of those granules, which are compressed ultimately into the tablet formulation. So the product uh, of telmisartan, which is powered by ODCA technology, uh, undergoes the complete dissolutions at the site of uh, GI system in the 5.5 to 7.5. It doesn't get precipitated and remains in the dissolved form throughout and uh, hence it ensures the complete dissolutions at the site of absorption and passes the FDA recommendations easily and ensures the 100 plus blood pressure control or the bioavailability gets improved. So in the step one, the first ionization steps which is followed, this uh, unique alkalizer meglumine interacts with the carboxylic group of the telmisartan. As a result, it causes ionizations of the product. And uh, this uh, alkalizer maintains an alkaline pH more than 9 around the ionized telmisartan molecule. And maintaining this alkaline pH uh, ionized uh, around the ionized telmisartan molecule is called the envir microenvironmental pH. Now, this microenvironmental pH goes to the step two, where alkalizer changes the alkaline microenvironmental pH in the GI system in the upper jejunum, where primarily more than 80% of the telmisartan gets absorbed, and that improves the dissolutions in the intestine, and ultimately it reaches to the site of absorption, uh, where uh, the telmisartan gets detached from the alkalizer and binds with the MCT, that is monocarboxylate transporter, which combines with the product, makes a complexes, and it transports the product into the bloodstream easily. Now, what are the evidences that uh, it offers and it passes the FDA criteria easily and ensures the complete dissolution? Now, we have done a series of government-approved independent lab reports and the lab analysis, which has clearly shown that uh, the product which is um, endorsed and developed by under the circumstances of the ODCA technology, which offers the 88 to 96 percent dissolution following the 45 minutes of the oral administrations at the pH 7.5. It is not the end. Moreover, it has been also found that when we carried out the bioequivalence study, it has been shown to have the proven bioequivalence compared to the innovator product of the Telmisartan, which is globally approved and FDA endorsed. So hence, um, in summary, we can say that telmisartan being an effective drug, the only drawback lies with its pharmacokinetic profile in its poor solubility and hence the timely bioactivity of the product. Innovations in the formulation technology is of utmost importance, therefore, so as to enhance its overall bioavailability and the better dissolution so that the ensures 100% blood pressure control and the efficacy can be improved. Odyssey technology which promises to deliver the telmisartan with an improved bioavailability and hence the proven bioequivalence. And this is pro the product is already in the market which has been tested and so many different open level randomized studies also being conducted which has shown the similar results has, has been approved in the bioequivalence as well as the other bioassay studies. Thank you very much. Thank you, doctor. How I have a question for you. How is it actually metabolized? Sorry? Is it metabolized to the liver, the kidney? Yeah. Uh, so, no, this uh, technology, when we have actually developed the product, it has actually the, basically, telmisartan is not a product, it is an active component. So it undergoes the rapid metabolism, so the hepatic metabolism, and it has been observed that if the patient is, or they are having any liver dysfunction, it is the lowest dose, 20 milligram of telmisartan is being given. Now, we have actually developed the product with the 20 milligram, 20, 40, and now recently 80 and 160 milligram is also been developed, and it has been applied for the FDA patent also. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any more questions? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Can I kindly ask you. So you produce these particles, which you right. saw. Yes. Then to make tablet, right. you had to compress those particles and make them stick together. Right. But if you put them into t capsules, the yes. particles will be still there. Yeah. Capsule will bypass the duodenum right. and get absorbed. Right. You would have saved a lot of problem. And more importantly, you would have not put something to glue those particles together to make tablets. Yes. Yes. So in the capsule formulation, this is having a little bit of challenging issues in the pharmaceutical formulation. Therefore, certain products cannot be manufactured and developed in the capsule, capsule formulations rather than they are strictly to be developed in the tablet formulations only. Uh, because in the capsule formulations, keeping the granules in, with the microenvironmental pH, with the intact microenvironmental pH, we have tested that. And it has been found to be always a challenging because uh, 
uh, it, it passes the duodenum easily, as you rightly said. And therefore, uh, what happens that uh, the, the capsule, once it gets dissolved, the telmisartan breaks down so easily. Because the problem with telmisartan being is, is a very active product, when it comes in the contact of the aqueous solutions, it always enhances that pH barrier. That means it is highly pH dependent. That means it gets solubilized either in the very high pH or at a very low pH. So only when there's a, there is a pH variation is being observed in the GI tract, this pro product is having that problem. It faces that issues. You Thank know. You and for and, and it, it becomes actually, it becomes a highly unstable product whenever we manufacture in the capsule formulations. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mitra.